If you know me, you know I really like Chainsaw Man. Good or bad, I don't really care that much about the anime. I'm just happy that the manga exists. Because it's one of those rare things I can say I don't think I'd be the same without. Which sounds pretty lame, but it's because I started reading it at a time I really needed it. At a time I needed to figure out what in the world I was doing. Nah. For the most part, I've always been that kind of guy that has that thing off in the distance. That big thing to work towards on the horizon. And a lot of the time it feels like for every step I take towards it, it gets one step further away. Because that thing is so grand and large, it almost feels too vague to actually be achievable. It's the become king of the pirates, or get our bodies back, or eat all the fingers, I guess. To be honest, I don't really remember what Jujutsu Kaisen was all about, but for me, it's always been something along the lines of make big animated movies like Makoto Shinkai or become a full-time YouTuber. Maybe if my hands didn't get so sweaty, I'd be able to get there faster. I should probably get some gamer goo to fix that. Anyways, for Denji at the start of Chainsaw Man, it's made clear that that thing is kill the gun devil. Except it's kind of not. He's just kind of doing it because he's got kind of a thing for Makima and killing the gun devil might be his best shot at having a shot with her. So what does Denji actually want? There is a lot of things to like about Chainsaw Man. The English version of the manga cover is uh, <laughs> is not one of them. At first glance, Chainsaw Man is a story about a guy and his dog chainsaw. It's got your moody side character and your waifu with a hammer and your um <laughs> your uh <laughs> your uh your woof woof if you know what I mean. But pretty quick in reading this thing I realize it's not just Jujutsu Kaisen with chainsaws. At its core it kind of just feels like a story about Denji now given a fresh start at life trying to find his place. He kind of just wants to be his own person but doesn't really know what that means just yet. For manga so generally, um, <laughs> weird, <laughs> that very specific feeling amongst everything else going on, for me is what makes Chainsaw Man so special. Having to go be in the world for the first time and figure out where you fit into it is really uh, scary. Whether it be moving out of home or getting chainsaw powers, or maybe even just graduating. It always feels like other people have got it figured out. You might even be one of the people who other people think have got it figured out. Being able to say they're gonna become an architect, or a designer, or an engineer. And then you might just want to go back to making videos. But that's not necessarily very realistic or sustainable. And most importantly, having a goal and being able to say it doesn't mean you know how to get there. At the start of Chainsaw Man, Denji decides he needs a goal, like everybody else around him seems to have. And for a guy who's never really had anything besides his pet dog, Chainsaw, naturally that goal becomes to, um, to touch some boobs. I kind of thought that making a living off making videos was the goal, right? Like, no matter what that meant, even though it wasn't particularly creatively satisfying. Denji does eventually get to fondle some peppermint creams, if you know what I mean, but it's really anticlimactic. It kind of just feels nothing afterwards. It doesn't really mean anything after all, it's just some boobs for the sake of boobs. My point is, the goal is very different from the thing itself. Denji doesn't realize it's not the boobs that are important, it's the person they're attached to. There's this really intimate moment between Denji and Makima in Volume 2, where Makima really delicately explains this to Denji, and it's beautiful. But it's also at this moment, Denji sets aside what he wants to be for what he thinks he should be, 
and all for the sake of someone else. Basically, he becomes a simp. When someone comes along to give you a sense of purpose, it can feel great at the time, but it's easy to lose yourself in that. Or in them. This one time I had, um, <laughs> a job. <laughs> And I was kind of broke before I started working there, and they scooped me up, they gave me consistent pay, and I got to go to some really cool places and work on some really big projects. I kind of got this sense of purpose. And I was technically making videos for a living, but I kind of set everything I was aside for this job. And a few years into doing that, things started to not feel right. I couldn't really put my finger on it at the time, I kind of thought I should be grateful. I didn't really have anything going on before this job, and whenever I talked to anyone about it, they'd say that this was the best opportunity for me, and I should be happy I even get to work there. This was supposed to be what it meant to be successful as someone who makes videos. So why did I feel so... lost? And then... Almost out of nowhere, I got fired. And obviously I couldn't exactly go out and find a new job at the time. I was just kind of stuck in this room alone for months, thinking about how hard I'd failed. And then, while lying in bed a few months later, I stumbled across Chainsaw Man. And just seeing Denji and how he'd been roped into all this gun devil bullshit for the sake of someone else made me realize something. I'd completely forgotten the reason I wanted to start making videos in the first place. I realize now there's such a huge difference between I want to be an animator and I want to make animations. One is saying you want a job, it's a goal, it's defined by success. And the other is saying you want to do the thing you're passionate about. It's more practical. It's like you can't have a life without it. You are what you spend your time doing, after all. This is gonna sound really silly, but I wouldn't have realized that without Chainsaw Man. Because I think Chainsaw Man boils down to Denji being asked one question. What do you want? Right now, I want to be a YouTuber, and I forget sometimes that that's not really the case at all. I just want to make more videos like this, and if I can scrape by and keep on doing that, then I'm pretty content. Denji wants a girlfriend, except he kind of doesn't. Denji wants...